Hi, I'm Rich Bremke. Welcome to 90 Second Love. Today we are talking about the book The Omnivore's Dilemma and whether or not you should read it. And I think you should for three very important reasons. And here we go. Reason number one, this book is very, very well researched. The author of this book went all around the country, everywhere from mushroom hunting in the woods to independent chicken raising farms to big factory farms where he actually bought his own cow. There's just a tremendous amount of research in it. It's not just pseudoscience. It very much gets into the very, very nitty gritty, lots of interviews and lots of effort. Number two, this book is very well written. It's a story. It's not just facts. It's not just beating you over the head with opinion or trying to sway you. It's really presenting the story and presenting the information and allowing you to make the decision for yourself. It never it feels difficult to get through. It's funny at parts. It's terrifying at parts. And number three, this is a book that deals with things that you put in your body every day, multiple times a day. And there's so little information available to us really about where our food comes from. We know what the ingredients are or what percentage of our daily amount of whatever it is, but we don't really understand how the food is raised. And this affects us on a very, very significant level in a way that we don't even understand. If you're avoiding reading it because you say, I don't wanna know, I'd rather just be ignorant of it. I think that's a bad reason because this book is very, very important. There's a lot of information in there. Read the book, the link is below and subscribe and I will see you on Wednesday, what poof. If I could afford royalty music, I would put in some fancy I think this book should be required reading for people in all, all schools, high school, elementary school, fish school. School of fish. I switched the... <clears throat> you might not want to read it while you're eating because that might make you think about what you're... I have no vested interest in this book. I have no, no book stock. Can you get book stock? I don't know how the stock market works.